What's going on, y'all? Brother Doug here with another Toku review. So at the beginning of the episode, it looks like that only kids are able to see uh, what's going on. And it actually got me thinking, if kids are the only ones who can see the Tokujers, do the Tokujers even exist in the Sentai universe, you know, as a whole? Like, really? Like, they can't team up with the Kyuujers? Like, are the Kyuujers real? Tokadi the Blue Ranger, he so reminds me of myself. You know, I love reading comics and you know, regular novels, you know, just to have some sort of escapism, you know, and to boost my imagination as well. So the main MacGuffin of this episode was the passes. Remember how the passes, you can only use them to get on the train? Well, it turns out you can use them as credit cards too, but they don't find that out that they have to pay them back until like later on. Like, wow, that's why I don't fuck with credit cards. <laughs> so Takati winds up losing his pass, so now he and Mio, well, Mio wanted to accompany him, are traveling, you know, by a uh, bus and by taxi to all these crime scenes where the other rangers are at and it gets annoying afterwards but however when they're climbing a mountain uh a, a, a major plot point occurs you know uh he knew since they all were childhood friends it turns out that he saved Mio from a tree accident or did he you know they don't actually go further into detail whether, whether they did or not but my theory is that she uh i'd say this, she probably did die in a sense, I don't know. I got nothing. <laughs> so it turns out the pass, the ticket, was under the furnace the entire time. It was on the train the entire time. And during the last fight before the uh, Zord scene, you know, have you guys noticed on all these first four episodes that Red Right has been turning into the Pink Ranger a lot? I don't know, man. I'm kind of suspect about that. But moving on. So during the Zord fight, they finally got a new uh, express shield. Uh, you know, kind of, it kind of uh, resembles, you know, a uh, traffic jam light. You know, red, yellow, and uh, green. <laughs> and so the monster starts uh, saying, "Hey, you guys are cheating." I'm like, "Yeah, you got some nerve. You got two robots to help you against one Zord." So you know, hypo hypocrisy and what what's the word I'm looking for? Hypocrisy too. But uh, what's the word? Con not kind of sending uh contradiction yourself fuck you so towards the end uh general shorts uh, shows up at the end of the zord fight and he starts threatening the ranger saying oh yeah i'm gonna take your trains and then right on the intercom says something so corny like hey, that's not up to you nigga if i would have got on that intercom and say hey, suck my dick <laughs> so all in all i like this episode um uh, this is only the fourth episode, and I can already say that uh, Tokyo might be in my top five. Cause I didn't have a top five Sentai at first, but uh, I don't know. This might take the spot, the fifth spot. So uh, that's what I think. I give the episode a solid five out of five. It seems like they're mirroring, or maybe they're taking notes from Power Rangers a little bit. Cause if you watch these episodes back to back, you know Noah and Takati kind of resemble each other. You know Noah's a nerdy, insecure motherfucker, and Takati kind of is too and they both well, the first episodes like I keep mentioning had Zord scenes uh, I don't know it's a big ass coincidence or maybe they are taking notes for each other I don't know but you guys let me know let me know the comments below make sure you like the video share the video subscribe what do you like about the episode who do you like who do you prefer Noah or Takati uh, other than that uh, deuces